Just Before Dawn is an early slasher film from 1981. Um, this is a lesser known movie. It uh, recently got a really nice uh, two disc special edition um, release on DVD a while ago, so I borrowed it from my local video store. They do exist. Uh, but Just Before Dawn is about five uh, young adults that are going camping in the mountains. Uh, one of them owns the land. However, when they show up, um, the forest ranger tells them that they shouldn't because if they're not prepared, they could you know, be killed by the elements if they're not careful. They're in a giant RV. And when they get there, there's a man with alcohol who's raving at them saying that demons took his nephew. He's been stranded. Uh, so they give him some food and leave him behind because, you know, uh, not much happens in this movie. This is a uh, IMDb list. This is a horror slasher movie. Uh, basically, our five um, young group of five young people are attacked by uh, a pair of inbred twins. And um, there's only one kill at the beginning and then we get nothing for 40 minutes. So um, out of an hour and a half movie. So I was kind of sitting there going like, OK, we're not really getting character development. It's just kind of them just doing stuff, going swimming, hiking, you know, being menaced in the distance. And then finally, the last half hour has some kills, but all of the kills are off screen, bloodless. Um, one of them's off screen in a, uh, in a church. Uh, another one is just left to drown. Another one is, um, yeah, they don't even like show half them. Another one's stabbed. And then I don't even know what happens to the other one. I don't even remember. That's how disinterested I was in the movie. The movie's super low budget. Like when I say super low budget, not enough for even fake blood. So, and then the, the ending was really strange too. There's like this really awkward uh, final girl versus um, killer confrontation that's just so weird um, and awkward. And it just, yeah, this movie just didn't work for me. Even, you know, low budget charm is fine, but you need to actually, you know, some movies are able to get away with not having blood and stuff by making it more disturbing, like uh, the escape room movies. But this movie just felt cheap, you know, like, it's the equivalent of, you know, someone holding a gun and pointing it, and then you just hear an, ugh, and then, you know, someone falling down. Is the, the movie budget so low you can't afford, you know, the gunshot squib or whatever. So uh, Just Before Dawn is definitely not uh, up there in terms of amazing slasher movies. Um, consider watching uh, 1981's The Burning instead. I give Just Before Dawn a 2 out of 10.